Hi everyone, it's Judy. Welcome back to Rose Lane. All right, we're gonna move on to the next segment here. I did start doing, uh, I don't think I'm gonna need that, put that back there. I did start doing some stuff, um, again, cause I'm trying to work things out and kind of making mistakes as I go. But in any case, <laughs> you know, I had planned um, kind of an idea in my head for the front of the book and now that's gone. Uh, something has taken its place and even that is not fully formed yet. So um, before we begin, I want to say uh, hello to everybody who has been subscribing and to my new subscribers. Thank you very much. I appreciate you guys coming along and giving me your comments and, uh, and uh, becoming my friends. So I really appreciate that. Um, I thought of something else uh, for inside the book. I don't know how far in this video, I may just do uh, part of this, stop the camera and then, uh, cause you know I don't edit, um, and then go back and do some more. So what I've done, um, I, I kind of set this thing so that it would lay flat for me. Uh, so it wouldn't keep, I should say, so it wouldn't start keep, you know, keep, I'll get it, I can't even speak. Um, so that it wouldn't keep popping open and now it's kind of hard to make it lay flat uh, for me. The other thing I realized I did, if somebody didn't catch it, if I put the papers in like this, that little bump was down here. So the bump's going to go back up to the top. I'm going to redo inside here because I've decided I kind of will but won't cover this. So it, that's kind of a... a an odd statement, but in any case, um, in the next video, which I will probably uh, do this evening, hopefully, and get it up in a couple of days, because I'd like to try to get a, a few things done uh, on video and then put them, you know, to be released at a later date so that something at least is going up while I'm gone, um, because I won't be able to be doing a lot of work. I'll probably take some fussy cutting with me, but that's probably about all. So. In any case, we'll fix this later, uh, but we're going to come back to this. I'm going to try to lay this a little flatter. So what I've done, what I've decided on, is I decided to make a flip-flap kind of thing. So this little flap thing is going to go here, and this little flap thing is going to go here. Now these are going to get glued shut, you know, but I have things I need to put inside. So this will open this way and they'll be placed here. I'll probably maybe do a little, you know, maybe a little decorating or something. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, then this one will open here and that is the same a little decorating here. And then this also will be a pocket, um, in here. I think I'm going to, I'm trying to decide. I may just, yeah, I think, because I think that would be a little bit better. I think instead of matching the bottoms, I'm going to pull them down a little bit and just cut this part off so it's not a big, a big end. Um, but I want to make sure that they line up with each other when I do that. I'll mark it with pencil where I want that to go. I haven't glued them down or together and I haven't made any tags yet. Um, I don't know if we're gonna get that far in this video, but okay, so I'm gonna try to just mark this here. Whoops. And here. And then trying not to make the move because it's kind of hard and I'll mark this one here and get my hand up this way and mark this one here. If it goes a little under, I'm not concerned. Um, what I don't want it to do is to go, is to stay over. So I'm just going to try to snip this down, hopefully get rid of these little guys right here and I am going to try to ink these little corners as I cut this away. So let's get that done, 
carefully, carefully, carefully. All right, that's that one. And then this one, like I said, it's not a big deal if it goes further in. I just don't, I don't want them sticking up. I think I'm still gonna try to angle them even though I've snipped them. You can see I had a little trouble cutting that before. All right, here. Okay, and then I will do a little angle just because. I don't know where that one went. Oh, it's still on there. Okay. And just a little, not a lot. All right, that's that one. And then, yeah, I must have. That's okay. I, I don't mind the little wrinkled, rumpled kind of stuff here. I think actually this has to go in a little bit more. I don't know how close I am to the camera for this. All right, I think that's better. I love this fabric, this faux suede leather thing, but everything is sticking to it while I'm working. All right, let me just grab this. I'll just get these corners a little bit so they're not so raw. That one. And that one. I think that's everything. I hope that's everything. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, I was looking for these old transparencies that I had that actually had yellowed, but I, I've been through, I, obviously not everything, but I think almost everything, and um, I cannot find it. And I got to thinking that if this book was started in the middle 1800s, they didn't have, um, let's see this little bit is up, they didn't have, um, plastic in those days. So in an effort to make it just a smidge more authentic, um, not to mention the fact that I can't find those transparencies. They're here somewhere. I don't know where. Um, buried under something, I'm sure. All right, that's good. Get those little edges down. I decided, I did have flaps on this, but I decided to take them off because with the hinges going underneath it, there was just too much, um, too much thickness there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line these with tracing paper, which could sort of be like glassine or vellum. So that's what I'm going to, I'm going to try to do. Um, um, I want to get it glued down so that I think this is probably the better glue, I think, for this. Okay, if I can get it to come down, here we go. Um, so yeah, I just, I wanna, not too close to the edge, but close enough to the opening. So you don't want it smearing out if we can help it. I'm not putting a whole, whole, whole bunch down. Now here I'm going to glue a little, little bit more because the tags are going to come in and out up here. A little down on the more wide side here. Okay. Coming along. I don't want to put a whole bunch because I just don't want it oozing out. All right, it's probably the wrong place to do this, so let me move this back a little bit. I'll work from this side just to. I've got so much stuff on my desk. It's practically a nightmare. All right, so here we go. All right, while that's sitting for a quick second, I'm just going to move this out of the way, putting it on that cabinet where my um, camera is attached. So every now and then the camera may jiggle. My apologies. Okay, I am going to try to do this with the craft knife. I was kind of doing it freehand before, just following along the edge of the card uh, cardstock, and I kept going <laughs> off. So I'm just going to, okay, that feels like it. 
So let's just run that right down there and do one from the other side. I got a little static cling going on here with the um, uh, tracing paper. Doesn't want to move. This is how I have been checking my distance to make sure that I'm right up against the edge of something as I'm cutting it. So, yeah. So that's what's going to happen here. And I know that's going to be kind of misty, but that's okay. Um, what I want to do here now is try to measure, because I can't guarantee that these are exactly the same. This is going to be just a little bit under three and a half inches by five and a half inches. So what do we have here? We have plenty. So three and a half inches by five and a half inches. So let's start with the five and a half. Go right there. And I'm really working in like a tiny little spot. I've got stuff all piled around me. It's probably not the wisest decision I've ever made to try to do all these things at once to work a little on this and a little on that. Um, I need a little better organization. All right, so that's that. Okay, now what I want is the three and a half inches. Okay, so a little under I said, right? And that'll be fine. So three and a half and a little under three and a half here. Make sure I've got this straight because I'm kind of, I don't think you can see where I'm measuring down here at the bottom, but I'm trying to keep it, keep it straight. So there we go, three and a half, three and a half. And let's cut this one. And then I think I want to take a, a look at the other, uh, you know, pocket um, and see if this is about the same size. So we have that. It should be close. I doubt it's exact, but it should be close. Um, okay. Uh, because I kept uh, refolding the flaps and things, trying to make it right. I just want to make sure we're still going. Yep, we are. Okay, let me get this. Not that that matters, because that's going to be underneath. So I measured this one, I think, and that looks like it should go nicely. I may have to just trim this end just a tiny little bit. A tiny little bit. Okay, just a wee bit. Okay, that's that. Get that out of the way. And let's make sure this fits in here. Because if it does, okay. Needs to be just a smidgen skinnier, but that's all right. So I'm going to just know how straight that was. I don't think it was straight at all. <laughs> all right, and three and a half we know is here. We just have to go up to come on, five and a half or almost three and a half. Okay. We go here to five and a half and get this straight ish and five and a half. Okay. So we're gonna cut up this way. I can't find that line. There it is. All right, let's try to get this on the line here, kind of straight, good. I think I'm just gonna go right up 
the side here. Let's see if I can feel this here. All right. Okay. Put this piece to the side. And I think I said it needed to be a little narrower. I think I'm going to make it, well, I'll cut it. I'll, I'll cut it along the lines first. And then come back. I'm not sure where the top of this is, so. All right, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so that's that one. I think I will trim it just a little, little bit. Just a little, little bit. Okay. And then this one, make sure this fits in here. They should almost be interchangeable. Whoops, almost lost it. Okay. This one needs to be narrower. This was the narrower one. All right, put that there. And we will take this and narrow it down a bit, hoping that's straight. Oh, I was a little too low there. Okay, good. All right, let's see what we think now. I think that will be fine. I was trying to decide if I wanted, I don't think I do. I, I don't want to take away from the from the flowers. I was trying to think if I, I wanted a little thumb hole, but I don't I don't think I do. I think I'm gonna leave it alone. Um, the tags will come up above it where you'll be able to pull them out, I'm sure. So that being said, let's get this down. Okay. Whoop. Get that over there. And we will get this in here. Well, and then the trick is making sure that what goes on the back here goes on the right one. Because <laughs> I've been known to do that before. Put things in the wrong place. Put things upside down like you saw with the, the end papers for this. But you'll see in another video what we're going to do there. I'd like to try to get this cover done. Um, before we go away on vacation. And then that is, that will be done and out of the way for me. Ready and waiting for adding signatures in as I go. So I think I got a little more glue on this one than I did on the other one. All right. So let's. You know what, I think it's easier if I, if I do it here because I have the hinge to kind of guide me here, I think. Come on. Yeah, I think I got a little, little over the line here, but I think I'll be all right with that. I want to make sure that all this is glue free and dry um, before I try putting any tags in here. I have absolutely no clue now what I'm going to do about a tag. I think I have a small idea, but I'm not sure. Okay, you really, well, I think it'll be okay. Just the tiniest bit seeped over. Okay, I think that's all right. All right, so let's put that one there. And then let's get this one done. Try to be a little less glue happy on this one. Get this one glued down, the tracing paper. I wish I could make a straight line. <laughs> Can't make a straight line with glue. It's amazing.
used to be able to make straight lines. Not sure what's going on there. Okay, just that little bit, just a little bit more right there, but not too much. All right, let's try to get this. Ah, that's a beauty. Okay. All right. I think that will do it. That will do it. Okay. So that's that one. All right. So here is the thing. I'm going to glue this hinge or this flap down here and then this is the hinge that's going to go underneath this back piece okay so this one is actually the side this one goes underneath so that one goes here and this one is going to go on the front part here and that one goes underneath it so what I have to do and this is what I did. This is what happens when I lay in bed at night and can't quite fall asleep right away. I decided I wanted to do tags and I wanted to, of course, have something, um, you know, show through the window on the tag, which would be really pretty. Um, and, you know, I, I like that whole idea. Instead of having a backing paper, and honestly, with this, you probably wouldn't have really mattered much because you really can't see. I mean, it just sort of looks a, a taupey gray color or taupey brown color. I Instead of just putting a decorative paper or something else underneath it, I decided to write a little phrase, a little saying that had to do with the essence of the book. So this is what I wrote. And these are what's going to go in underneath these things glued to the back. So when you pull the tag out, this is what it says. And it says on the first one, which is this one, it says, a good life is a life well lived that is full of memories and things past and dreams of the future. That one goes in there. It says, of a good day's work and finding comfort in the presence of those we love, what more could one ask for? And that's gonna go underneath this one. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Just see if we can get these glued in where we want them. Kind of trying, this one was very, very close to the edge, but I really didn't want to print it again, so, <laughs> so I left it alone. So what I'm going to have to do, I think, I think is get my little washi tape that I said I wasn't going to need. I'm going to take my sweater off because I'm a little warm now. So just give me a second. I'm wrestling with the sleeves. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take my little washi tape. All I need is just one little piece um, that's going to hold this where I want it. And then once I've got this where I want it, I can glue the um, piece over. Uh, this is going to be the trickiest one, though. I want my tweezers here because I think that will help me. You can see it's very close. Ah, that's lovely. <laughs> Okay. Actually, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. How much I am in the camera. Let me see if I can. Uh, it's not bad. Um, I'm trying to decide with my eye. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. So what I'm gonna try to do is just lift this up, put a little washi on it right here, and then see if I can get it, if I get one side glued down, I will be happy. And then I can go around the edge with the rest. Come on. Okay, let me try to get some of this glued down. Hopefully I'm still where I belong. Yeah, that'll do. 
that'll do. Okay, that's good. All right, I'm going to take the washi off. I'm actually going to save that little piece because i got to do a couple more. And I think when I get to the one that's going to go underneath the bottom piece, um, I think I may go around the edges a little bit with the decoupage because I think I'm just going to glue it right down to the to the uh, cover of the book, not put anything underneath it. Um, and um, yeah, I think that's what I want to do because I, I don't want it to catch. And I, I'm not sure on the suede just how sharp I can get it, you know, how real tight I can get it to fit. Okay, so that is that. And that looks like that. So that's good. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to glue down here. Let me make sure I'm in the camera for you. I'm just going to go glue along the bottom. Oops. There. And I'm going to glue here. Okay. Get those little spidery things out of there. Glue this down. And I'm, I'm not looking to make it like super flat, super tight, because I do want a uh, tag to go in and out easily. Okay, so that is the first one. Okay, so in order to read it, you are going to have to press it down. Um, it's a little misty under there, but that's, that's, that was my plan. Well, that wasn't my plan not to be able to read it, but that was my plan. If you know what I mean. Okay. So then we have this one, which I'm going to trim off the end because we have plenty of room. Who knows what I could use that little guy for. We have plenty of room here to play with this one. The big thing is I want to make sure that it's like not going uphill or downhill, and I think this one's going uphill just a tiny, tiny bit. It's a little too far over. And I think that's good. All right, so let me get my little piece of washi, pick this up and put that down here, flip this around, and we'll do this. Whoops, fine. <laughs> oh no, it moved. Ah, my washi came up. Okay. Okay, let's try that again. Um, a little more on the bottom here. Nope, that's too much. I've got just a little bit of glue now on here that wants to stick. Okay, a little bit more. And I think we're going uphill just a bit. Now we're going downhill just a bit. Hmm. Okay, I think we're good. All right. Let's try that again. Just get a little bit down here. Wow. <laughs> okay. I just want to let that set while I pull this off because I don't want this sticking if I can grab it. Okay, tweezers. Here we go. All right, that's better. Okay. All right, let's make sure that that's where I want it to be. That looks 
pretty good. All right. So then let's go ahead and put the rest of this. Actually, let me get it from the other side first. There we go. Okay. So, so we had another beautiful day here, which was nice. I didn't get out in it much, <laughs> but because, you know, I'm not driving at this point, so if I go anywhere, I'm, I have to have a reason and I have to have a driver. So my husband had his physical therapy today. So no point in me going because they won't allow me to go sit in the, in the waiting room or anything. So I'd have to sit in the car. So what fun was that? So I just, uh, I stayed home and decided after a little while that I would come down here and uh, I wanna make sure that this is good and down. Because like I said, the tag is gonna slide in and out there. Okay, so that's good. So anyway, so I just decided that I would stay here um, today so I was out in the front a little bit on our uh, little porch chairs and I was um, in the back for a minute or two with my dog and uh, that was about all for that. So let's get this and put that down. There we go sure that's good and snug good and snug okay so I don't know how far I'll get with some of this stuff today all right so that's the one that's the other so there's one and then two and then this one underneath now this one I think I'm gonna just put it right right to the paper I mean right to the cover and I know I have way more here than I need so let me just all right I want to I want to want to want to I gotta go slowly so I can make contact in the right place sometimes I think things are closer to me than they are and sometimes I think they're further away so I go to you know put something like a little bit of iced tea mix or something into a glass and I pour half of it on the counter because I'm half over the glass and half not it's a learning curve so this is actually not as straight as I thought it was so I'm just trying to get rid of the excess is really all I'm trying to do so get rid of that one and I think we'll trim this just a little from the bottom because I just don't think that's gonna be that necessary I think I have room at the top to play yes okay so here here's the thing this one I'm gonna get another piece of washi because I have to put this one down on the cover. So let me put those up there. And let me bring this down here. And I want this, um, hmm, you know what? Well, no, that's not gonna do me any good. Okay, I want this, whoops, this just, it sticks to my finger, but it doesn't wanna stick to the, Probably because I've got glue on my finger. Okay, I want this just a little higher than the bottom. Um, you know, a little higher from the bottom than the, than the top. A little narrower. Um, because I plan on putting some flowers down here. The tags will go up a little further. I don't want to really cover all of this, but I, I want it very, you know, ornate, kind of. All right, so... 
Okay, that's not bad top to bottom, but I think I need to pull it out a little bit and a little bit more. And you need to go in. Hmm. Nope. I need, I'm going to trim this down just a wee bit more here because I'm just playing a little too close to the edge with this. So let's get this. I think it's getting to be time for me to change my blade again. I just changed it, but I was cutting through some of that cardboard and kind of gets it pretty dull pretty fast. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do a hitch post on this. How exactly I'm going to fasten with the hitch, hitch post, I'm not sure, but I think that's what I want to do. I'm going to try my tweezers again with the paper, if I can grab it now that I put it inside here. Come on. I'm below it, I'm above it. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, just bring that over a little more. I am thinking I was going to put that other lace along the edge on the front, but I think I have decided against that. Okay, does that look straight? Let me try to put that down. I'm going to pick it up just so that I can see a little bit. Okay, I think that'll be fine. Okay, I think that'll be fine. So, you get the glue down. Clean my tip off a little bit because I've been making a mess here. down right to the edge all right and then I'll go from the other side like I said I want to make sure it's glued good and snug across the top that's, oh well it doesn't matter it rubbed right away so okay and I chose this font because I actually had three that I had uh, put up and then I kind of narrowed it down to two and then this one just seemed to to be e a little easier to read it was a, a little more bold um, so I'm, I'm kind of glad now that I chose this one because it makes it easier to read through the um, through the tracing paper because it is a little a little more bold um, so that's that's better but I wanted it to look like what am I looking for? A bone folder. I wanted it to look like um, somebody's handwriting, you know, like somebody actually just sort of hand wrote it. Because the book is, I'm meaning it to sort of start in the mid ish 1800s. It's going to be covered, so I'm not too worried about that. I just want to make sure this is good and down. See this end. Where is my. <gasps> It's here somewhere. Here it is. Oh my goodness. I left it open. We can't have that. You know what happens when I leave my art glitter glue open, right? Now I've got to try to stick a pin in this very tiny hole and try to clean it out some so I can get my glue out. There we go. Um, so anyway, um, ooh, it's oozing. Um, I want it to feel as if the book started in the mid-ish 1800s, 1850, 1860, something like that. Um, and it's meant to be not just a scrapbook of the time, but it's meant to be passed down through the family. So it, it will go, it'll travel the story, my story, made up story behind the book is that it starts on a farm with some simple things um, and everybody in the family gets an opportunity to put something in the book 
something it has to be something special sort of like a um, almost like a time capsule but it's like a perpetual time capsule um, that make sure I've got the straight here before I go gluing it down I do see I have a little bit of the tracing paper coming out of the bottom if I can manage to just cut the tracing paper and not the pocket Okay, I think I did. I think I think I think I did good. Um, so it's sort of like a perpetual time capsule, a family project, as it were, but to go from generation to generation. So it will start with a family that would be a farm family, um, and then as something special happens in the event of of each person's life, they can take something and put it into the book. And eventually, that book is going to go to other places as the children grow and either leave the farm or, you know, go wherever it is they're going to go. Um, they will take the book with them and it will pass within that generation to different places where people may move, where the family may move as a whole or where a child may move. Uh, after they grow and marry and have a family of their own um, and then it and then their children will grow and maybe take it someplace else so it will pass down and get added to and added to over the course of about I'm thinking about four generations did I get all four sides I believe I did okay now here's the trick before we actually get it down Let's make sure it's centered in where we want it and then straight which I think that is and I always like to just push it in just the tiniest little bit and give it a little bit of give so that the um, tags will go in and out I have a tag here right now <laughs> I don't have anything here right now um, yeah, well, see, it just has a little more give here. Just a tiny little bit. Um, oh, duh. Let me bring that up again. I actually have to put this together as a whole. But now I've got the line there. Ooh, I really did come just to the edge of that. I have to put the uh, flappies on. Okay, so this one goes on first. Right? That one goes this way, right? Right, right, okay. This one's gonna go here then. And I'm gonna just how do I wanna do that? Yeah, alright. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of my thought. Uh, so as as you know, we start out on a farm and it may end up back on a farm at some day, you know, at some point during the course of their time. It'll go through about a century or so. And, um, all right, I want to make sure I'm doing this right. Yep, okay. And um, some of the children may grow and go to school. They may go to college, you know, some generations. Um, you know, it just, I don't know. It's just whatever I can find to kind of put in there. And it's supposed to be, like I said, about generations just adding and adding and adding um, to this book as the years pass on you know pass well pass on I hate to say that pass on but um, you know as as uh, the family grows and continues and goes on through the century um, and everybody gets an opportunity it's not just one person's journal or scrapbook it's a family's scrapbook and they add to it from from year to year. Um, it's sort of similar to an idea that I had with my son when my son was born. We always have real Christmas trees, and when my son was born, I every year uh, since he was born, I save a small branch from um, our Christmas tree. And I have it marked in a, I just put it in a baggie 
and with the year. And my plan was when he got married, which I'm still waiting for, nobody's in a hurry these days. Um, when he got married, I would make a Christmas potpourri out of it. And um, now this one's a little more tricky. Um, and give it to him and his wife as a gift. And then it would contain pine branches and, you know, uh, needles. And I'd add to it, of course, you know, to make a, an attractive looking potpourri. It wouldn't just be a bowl full of pine needles. You know, you put some kind of berry type things in it and um, pine cones or something, you know, to make it look pretty when it sits in like a Christmas bowl or something. And every year, um, when they have their Christmas tree, they will add to it. And when they have children, okay, so that goes like that, and that goes like that. So there's a good life, and then it opens this way, and then it opens this way, and then we have that. And let me get rid of this extra glue in here. Um, when they have children, of course, you know, their Christmas trees will continue as a family to go into this potpourri. And when their children grow up and get married, they will divide up the potpourri that they've been adding to um, and each child will take a portion of that potpourri that started with my son and his first Christmas when he was only six months old and all of their Christmases besides and um, yeah so and they'll just continue on with that. And then when those children have children, they will continue. And at some point, somebody can sit, you know, 100 years from now and say, you know, this bowl of Christmas potpourri contains pine needles from when your great grandfather was born. Well, who knows, you know, I'm hoping. <laughs> but the idea is there anyway. So that's, that is my thought, that is my plan um, for doing that. So, all right, so this is what we're gonna do now. We're gonna, I just wanna glue, because I wanna make sure I'm not gluing the flaps. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue this part. So it was just an ongoing thing that you add to, add to, add to over the generations. And um, yeah, uh, like I said, you. They can be holding something. It'll be a Christmas tradition that when they bring it out, their fathers or their great grandfather or you know their grandfather, great grandfather, whatever they are, my my son is to them over the centuries. Now I've got to open this to actually put it down. Oh, nothing like trying to make this easy. Okay, let's open this up. I've got the glue on it. Let's see with my funky eyes if I can get back where this belongs. I think I just had my camera, my head in the camera, and I'm sorry for that. All right, am I straight? Uh, I can twist just a wee bit, and I think we are okay with that. All right, I don't think I glued across the bottom, but that's not a problem. I can get my, um, oops, my art glitter glue. I just want to give this a good press because it's nice and thick. Get that little bit of glue out of there. Okay. So that was kind of the idea with my, my Christmas potpourri for my son and his future family. I hope <laughs> one of these days. If not, he's just going to have a bowl of potpourri from all of his trees. But, uh, um, so this book is kind of that, uh, a similar idea. I'm gonna, actually I don't want that. Actually I might be better off with that because these are really pokey. But I need to lift this. And I'm not left-handed and I can't quite see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try to get this glue across the bottom here because I forgot to put the glue bottom of the pocket and I hope this will stick 
So the book is the same idea, um, even though it's not real. Um, but that's the, the kind of story I wanted behind it. I wanted it to be a family thing that the family does together and the family continues to do um, through the generations. So, okay, so that's the front at this point. So there's the first part of the, of the quote, the second part of the quote, and then the third part of the quote. And then all I have to do is make tags for here, here, and here. That's all I have to do. How I'm going to close this, I have no clue yet. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I'll think about that for a minute. I'm sure I'll come up with something. I'm trying to get my pin back in my glue here and let me get this glue closed. Put that on there. Okay. So now this is what I wanted to use and I want to make it so that it'll be removable. I think before I do that, I want to put some laces down. Okay, so let me see my time here. Oh my gosh, all right. This is going to be a long one. Um, my apologies for that. Uh, all right, you know what? I think I'm going to end this one here with this, and um, I'll just continue on with uh, some subsequent uh, journals. So, I mean, subsequent videos. So uh, that's it for now, because we're at like 51 minutes, almost 52 minutes, that's long. Um, so that is it for this video. So in the meantime, guys, take care, be safe, be happy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.